What the heck is going on guys? How's everybody today? Today we are back with another BBG series, Basic Beginner Guide. Today we are going to be talking about um, buying from the vendors, um, how you can get a full set of costume on each of your characters as free to play, and basically the things you need to know. So first we're going to go into Widow. So vendors are in every world. There's little shopping carts on your map which you can access by using this. So as you can see there, there's a shopping cart here. Um, there's also one in every single zone in every world. Uh, so let's get into it. In each of these shopping carts, you can buy a costume. Each character has a costume that is best for them, um, that is non-regional. I did another video on each character, which you can check out, um, to see some of the best non-regional costumes for your character. Um, but okay, so for Widow, what we have, uh, what I recommend is Red Widow's Bite. Sorry, Red Widow's hair. I apologize. Well, it's just the Red Widow's bed. Yeah, it is just the, the Red Widow's bed. The hair is the hair, the bite is the gun. Yeah. Um, so this is going to get the Firearm Expert, which is your Snipe. So this is going to be your best skill for PvE and leveling up. Um, it's also one, a really good skill for AO dub and things like that. And it can be used in DD as well um, as fried bullets. So this is a really, really good set to have. Um, and the beauty of this set is it's available in New Stark City, which is super early. Um, so you can buy the full set and have the plus six to your um, snipe immediately. So if I were to go here, go here, go into New Stark City. So the first two zones, Research Pegasus and Research Operation Base, are not good. Um, but Central City is where you're going to find it. Uh, Ultron Assembly Base is, isn't there either. So this is the only one that's a little bit more complicated. Um, so it's just in Central City. So if you go to Central City, go to the shopping cart, you'll be able to buy the. Sorry. You'll be able to buy the full set. So it costs 60k per piece. It's 240k for the full one star set, which you can then take up with other um, fodder that you've received in the game. Um, again, don't go above five star though, because you want to save that for uh, regional. But yeah, so we go here. We go to costumes. Here we go. We can buy the full set. So awesome. So that's Black and, Widow. And it's like a whole uh, set too. Like it's all that green hair set. Oh yeah, so you'd get a collection. So you'd, you'd get, get 50, 50 collection crystals. Things for it. And you'd look all cool if you like the look too. Yep. So there's, you could even, when you're later game, you can go back and buy looks you're missing. I did that with my modern Widow set. I bought the modern chest everywhere I could so that I could get my cosmetic. So yeah, there's lots of perks to this. All right, let's go into the next character though. Let's go into Captain America. So for Captain America, uh, in my opinion, his best non-regional skill set is the World War II skill set, which you can get um, from Midgardia. But again, it's only going to be a couple zones, so let's go through it. So you can get this from Midgardia, but you can only get it from uh, Forbidden Forest to alternate winter. So the first two zones, you're not going to be able to get it. Uh, but let's go into Forbidden Forest and I will show you guys. So this is the first zone it is accessible in. Oh, oof, oof, oof. Okay. Yeah, you the best one. Sorry. I oh, 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 oh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, but I will talk about it as quick. Go to the shopping cart and show which skill it gets you. Sure. So it gives you the Sentinel of Liberty skill, which is your, um, oops, sorry. I think that's the one where he spins around in a circle. It is, it is, it is. I just want to go show it because I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm not 100% on all of it. Yeah, it's this one. So crazy, crazy damage out of this skill. Super awesome. Really high guard break, too. So really good skill to give to. All right, we're almost at this stupid shopping cart here. And I will show you guys. So again, it's going to be the same for every costume. It's 60k again per, so 240 for the full costume set. And there we go, World War II helmet. Awesome. So that's where you can get it for Captain America. Again, Midgardia, Forbidden Forest to Alternate Winter, not the first two zones. Oh. And they should all have different colors too. I'm pretty sure if you go to another zone, it'll be a different color set if you don't like the orange. Correct. So if you like cosmetic purposes or to finish collections, you can buy from there. 
Um, all right, let's go into Captain Marvel. So again, newer players, you're gonna wanna be focusing on trying to buy the set you want to help you get through the zone easier and quicker. Um, for later players, maybe you're trying to finish cosmetics or collections or things like that. So you wanna explore the shop a bit more for yourself um, in all the different zones. Um, okay, so let's get into it with magic, or sorry, we're Captain Marvel, right? Yeah, Captain Marvel. All right, so let's get into it with Captain Marvel. So hers, in my opinion, is Carol Corpse. So this one's a little crappier for free to play because um, it's first available in Sakaar, so a little bit later for sure. Um, this is going to be available in every single zone, um, so it doesn't matter where you go. Uh, for the old Captain Marvels. Anywhere in Sakaar. Anywhere in Sakaar, yeah. So I went here because I know... Oh, okay, I, I actually just stuck at this, but that's fine. Oh yeah, I just don't have, don't have tickets. Anyway. <laughs> you don't have to fly there. There's uh, the other one. Yeah. Okay, so Carol Corpse gives to uh, the lightning beam. Let's double check. When I don't main them, guys, I'm a little... Still a little spotty. We're learning. Carol Corpse. Carol Corpse. Is it? Oh, wait, it's not. Uh, oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it gives to Proton Blast skill, which is her highest damage skill. So I will show that super quick. So again, um, Proton Blast skill, we go into skill here. Proton Blast, oops, no, let's see. Oh, there it is. This one right here. Booyah, baby. <laughs> Tons of damage. Awesome for free to play. So again, that's available in all the Sakaar regions. It's going to cost you 240k to get the full set. This one's purple, which I personally really like. I think it looks good, but yeah. All right, let's go into Doctor Strange. Now, I will say Doctor Strange, I do think his best free-to-play costume is God of Magic. However, it's not available in any of the shops. Wah, wah. But um, instead, we are going to go with Defenders, which is still a very good set. It is also available in New Stark City, only in Central City. So again, this one's super important. It's just available in this one, oops, one zone. So let's go into it and take a look at it. So that's the exact same like the Black Widow one. Yeah. And again, of course, 60k for each, 240 for the full set. <clears throat> We will look at it here quick. Defender's Cloak. Uh, Seven Ring of Ragnarok. Yep. Which is his long range skill, right? Seven Ring. It's like the laser beam one. Yep. Does a lot of damage. It does have a good range on it. Very solid skill. Um, again, I do think God of Magic is better if you get lucky and you get all those pieces. That's probably the one year, the costume set you want to go into. But until then, you can get this really super early for your Doctor Strange to help him level up through the world. Alright, let's go into I Am next. Um, so I Am is actually super shafted. Um, his best costume gives to uh, plas Plasmates. Uh, which is Spin Blade. Nanite Plasmates. Nanite Plasmates, which is Spin Blade. Um, unfortunately, that one is not available um, through the shops. So what I said is the best one that's available through the shops is Stealth Armor, which is going to give you, um, give to your, so sorry, this is the best for him, the Nanite Plasma, but it's not available. So the ones that you can get is this one. So this gives to your um, guided missiles. That's what micro missiles is. So this is the best one I found available in the shops. And where you can find this, again, it's going to be a little bit later in game, just like Captain Marvel. It's going to be in Sakaar. Oh, it's in Sakaar too. I'm not going to go to that zone. Um, so yeah, available all throughout, same as all the other characters, 60k, 240 per. Let's go look at it. I was really sad that um, none of his... You can teleport on. Oh, you don't. Yeah, I don't have to get <laughs> um, Yeah, I was really sad that they didn't have one for the Inite Plasma or whatever. I call it Spin Blade. Not Spin Blade. The Spin Blade one, yeah. Yeah. Because um, that's re like, it's really, really his best skill. But the Micro Missiles can definitely uh, help out a lot. And now... 
Again, if you are a later player, be sure to be checking this shop out. Don't waste all your gold, but maybe finish some collections and things like that. Um, that's what I'm actually going to be starting to do on my main. So, and like it's for every character too, right? So just a ton of fodder as well. So there you go, you guys can see full set. This one seems to be the green set. So, yeah, there we go. That's Iron Man. Let's go into the Spooderman next. Spooderman is the most blessed, I think, because his very, very, very best set is in the is in New Stark right at the beginning, as well as I think he's one of the few characters that um, can actually go with the free to play set. Um, now I said that this is in all, but I really don't believe myself, so let me double check super quick. Sorry guys, oops, I might have taken my notes wrong here. I do believe that this should only be available in Central City. Um, but let me just double check. I apologize. This shouldn't be it. Yeah, okay. So this is only available in Central City, just like the other New Stark gear sections. So again, just like all the other ones, Central City, let's go into it. <clears throat> we'll go here. This is nice, right beside the door. Yep. This is all new, all different. Okay guys, something is up here. I apologize, listen. Um, let's go back to Spider-Man, we'll do him last. I apologize, guys. Let's skip that for now. Thanks, Jenna. Um, let's get into Star-Lord. So, for Star-Lord, Sheriff is going to be his best non-regional costume that is available. So this is going to be in Sakaar as well. So again, a little bit later, but available in all the zones. Let's go check it out. Out. Uh, Star Lord is personally one of my favorites right now. I'm really enjoying him. I think I'm going to be maining it on my alt account um, that I've been giving you guys a lot of information from. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. I got the Spider Man thing figured out. We will go back to that next. Again, my apologies there. That's what happens when you take notes and you're clumsy, like me. We're getting better though. <laughs> We are almost at this Star Lord thing, and then we will go through it. Probably should have made sure I had teleport tickets on everyone. Less learned next time. So, this is where we can get his sheriff uniform. This gives to problem solvers. This is the skill that he uses that makes him go untargetable, and it also deals a shit ton of damage. Uh, very good for PvE and PvP. Um, now, if you're solely PvP, I'm sure there are better skills you could give to higher damage skills um but yeah this is the one that i think it makes is him best. untargetable that's the best part yeah the untargetable is why i really went for it um you want to use it a lot since it's the untargetable skill um but yeah so that's star lord again 60k for each 240 per again unfortunately it's a little sad because it's a little later so the car's a little yeah, late sure yeah sure i'll go back to spider man the, the new Stark City people are balling because you get that right off the hop. This one's a pretty good set. Xander. Yeah. Really early. So I do apologize for that confusion. Uh, so we are back on Spider-Man. All his non-regional costumes are available in Xander. Sorry about that. So let's go take a look at those. So the best one for him is uh, Noir. And like I was saying before, I do think um, he's one of the few characters that can do this. Um, or I still don't recommend it, but he's one of the few characters that non-regional he can survive because um, his main thing is evasion and dodge rate anyway. So if you get max, max dodge rate and go into this skill, you should be set. But yeah, so web shooter mastery plus six. So let's go take a look at that skill. So that's this one here. Um, it's the one that's used a lot in PvP. It's very awesome. It decreases accuracy, which essentially just gives you even more dodge rate. 15%, um, uh, uh, sorry, and it can cocoon if you guard break them or something like that. Um, I will say Spider-Man is effing terrible in PvE. So um, if you're free to play, 
and you do want to compete in PvP, probably not the best character. No, in PvP is so good. Sorry, in PvP. So thank you. Shut up. In PvP is so good, but um, getting through the PvE stuff and competing in PvE stuff will be hard. But as far as like DD, if you're free to play and you want to like just do DD, we'll go Mega Wars. Oh, Mega Wars, this is your guy. All right, let's get into it. We have two more left here. We have Storm and Magic. Let's do Storm. So for Storm, her best is going to be the 80s costume. Um, it's going to be available in the Hydra world. So again, super early. Um, it's available in both spots, thankfully. And again, same as every other character, 60 for each, 2 for today. Um, let's go to this. This is a super small zone, so we'll be there super quick. Oh, you mean inside this little spot? Yep. Um, also guys, there's these two, so don't forget about those. Those are good fly. Um, okay. So yep, it gives to Weather Witch skill, which is her big huge damage skill. I'll show it in a sec. Full set. And defense goes to the light. Yep, defense goes really nice. Oops, sorry. Uh, oops, 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 oops. What, what am I doing? Oh, skill. skill. Thank you. Um, skill. So this one right here. Big, big damage. Mine's only at level... Whoa, what is my... What is this? Seven. Level seven. So it, it can go up big. Pretty good. Uh, and it breaks their attack, so it helps you live longer, too. It's awesome. Yep, and defense pierce is really awesome, too. So, there we go. That is Storm. So you can get her 80s costume. And again, super early, so... The people that are early, they're really good to invest in, especially if it's an alt, because it'll just make you go quicker through the yeah the world. So why not, right? Um, so here we have Storm, 80s, yeah, Hydra. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Storm, Magic, guys. I'm sorry, I've been so bad at YouTube videos. <laughs> okay, so final character, Magic, um, M Mystic Arcane. So this is actually different than I said in my previous Magic video. If you saw that, you're probably like, what the heck, why did she change? Um, what we, what I, why I changed is because this doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let me explain when we're this. Yeah. So this is the one I decided to go with, Summon of Limbo, Limbo Hydra. It is available in New Stark, Central City. So again, that one zone, but available super early. Um, it gives to... Uh, this skill right here, which is crazy damage. Now, I'm not going to go to the shopping cart because I want to touch on something quick with magic on this subject. She has... Okay, so she has a costume set that gives to... Um, it's called x Center, right, Jordan? X Infernus. X Infernus, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so you guys see here, see how it says Summon Legionnaire Skill Plus 6? So Cheta fully equipped this set on his magic, and what that set actually gives to is this one. So if you guys saw my magic video, I was actually super confused trying to explain this, and I thought I figured it out, but I didn't. I didn't figure it out because it doesn't exist. This is what it gives to. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Probably translation. Probably translation. But um, I figured I would just touch on that to finish off the video. So moral of story, free to play, buy your full sets that are going to help you advance your character. Don't invest too much into them, but take them up a little bit. You can eat them later. If you are way into the game, uh, this is something good to know. If you are trying to finish collections or you want a certain style, be sure to check out all the stop shops in all the different regions. They're all different and all different colors. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.